So after beating the game two times on Maddening and getting halfway through on my third run uh, of Maddening, I've come to the conclusion that certain units you should really avoid investing in completely. So like units like Bukharon, uh, Clan, Etia, and also Alfred. These are units that you should use as needed in the early chapters. But honestly, I think most of your XP for the first like five chapters, maybe the first four chapters, three to four chapters, should just be getting dumped on a Leer. Uh, Vander should not even be hitting things in my opinion. I do have a method for the openings for chapter one and two, where Vander doesn't even get a single point of experience. Uh, he's really a terrible unit. <laughs> he just has bad growths, high internal level, and it's just he has bad base stats for a promoted unit. Uh, the only unit who I think you could invest in if you want to get kills or like get XP is Fram, because she actually can turn into Sage and be decent on that. She can also be a decent Mage Knight. Uh, Clan, I think, requires too much investment. Same thing with Bucheron, or Boucheron. Same thing with Alfred, same thing with Etia. Uh, Etia, I invested in my third Maddening run, and she really falls off hard. I should, should, hold on, let me rephrase this. She never falls off hard. She's simply never good, ever. Like, she's never good. She always has low defensive stats, low max health, and low speed. I promoted her to Sniper, and right now I'm on Chapter 13 on my third Maddening run, and I wholeheartedly regret investing in her at all. Like, there's no upside to using this unit. She has really bad defensive stats, low speed and low health, and we can just get one shot by literally anything that attacks her. And even when you promote her to Sniper, it doesn't fix her problem. She still has low speed, low build, low defensive stats, and she just gets killed easily. And the reason I'm mentioning this is if you're trying to do an Iron Man run, or if you're just trying to play the game and not have your units die constantly, if, if there's any slight gap in your defenses, and an enemy can hit her, she will die. Whereas Alchrist has higher defensive stats, higher health, higher speed, and higher build. He can generally tank a hit while she cannot. So definitely worth calling out. But a lot of these units uh, are just like really bad. And I'm not saying that because I don't like them. I'm not saying that because I have like favoritism towards certain units or something. It's just that I've legitimately tried to test them out. And in order to make them viable, you have to feed them tons of experience and there's no reason to do this because the game hands you better units that are higher level throughout a playthrough. So, you know, when you get Alchrist and Lapis and Citrine, they started at a level 10. So if I just dump all my resources into a Leer early on, and then I just replace these guys, just use them as needed, there's no downside to doing this. Because this is just XP that's being wasted on units that aren't really that useful. And you can still use them, like honestly I still recommend using them, so like in this map I'm still shooting down birds just to thin the numbers. But I'm mostly having a Leer tank and be the front line, and a Leer has killed a bunch of things so far on this particular map. And I use Vander, I unequip his weapon to body block. And in this case I could use Alfred to body block, uh, so he can just do this. Now this bird has no movement. Then you can just keep moving up. So you can you can beat these maps mostly with a leer. You could probably solo these maps with a leer. Like I've seen people solo the game with a leer, but like the early chapters, like I would say, like up to chapter three, maybe chapter four at the latest, most of your XP should getting should be getting dumped on a leer, because a leer is a forced promote that you run throughout the entire game. And of of all the early game units, the only one I would recommend investing in that it actually being worthwhile is Fram, because at least she has good speed growth and makes a decent mage. So you can put her on Sage and she's decent at it. And also it doesn't require much for her to level up because she's always healing. She's the first healer you get, so she's just always healing things. And healing doesn't take away XP from a Leer. It just is like, you know, self-generating XP independence of a Leer. But you can see that you, with body blocking and positioning, you can coerce enemies to attack a Leer and you can just not use these units for a few turns. Now you should still use them as needed, you should still deal damage and attack as needed, for sure. But on my, this is my fourth Maddening run. I haven't beaten the game three times, I'm halfway through on my third. I just wanted to test out early game and mid game stuff, and honestly, and like I invested in Bukharon, I invested in Etia, I invested in Alfred, and it was one of the worst things that I could have done in this game. I just wanted to see how far I could push them, just by running them normally, handing them forged weapons, handing them engraved weapons, uh, feeding them kills, and honestly, it's terrible and you shouldn't do it. 
So do not feed these three units. Now, can you run these units and make them viable with overinvestment? I think barely. I think you can make them viable. I don't think you can make them hard carries or units that are going to push your team up in terms of effectiveness. I think what they're going to do is take away resources from other units that would snowball into power carries in order to make these just like relevant. And it's, it's truly difficult to make them relevant. So yeah, that's it for this one. I just wanted to talk about this early game trap so to, so to speak they get the game kind of hands you this like b team where they're like hey check out all these units you can use these guys and then if you actually invest in them they just end up being terrible uh maybe with dlc that kind of mitigates it the dlc generally mitigates a lot of problems uh like for example if you throw tiki on literally anything it just makes them level up better which could turn even the worst unit into something much better because it's that unit plus 15 percent growths so you know, and obviously extra emblem rings will kind of skew power balance so things feel stronger because now you have an extra emblem ring and emblem rings improve your stats. They give you powerful abilities. Uh, but yeah, these starting units, aside from Alir and maybe Fram, I don't think you should invest in at all. And Fram comes with like an asterisk because she should be replaced with Anna or Jean, both of which are way better than she could ever dream as you hit mid to end game. Anna has better stats and better growths and makes you money. And Jean is just... Whatever you want him to be, he can become insane. So I would say those are going to be your pupil units you should be focusing on. But yeah, thanks for checking this out. Definitely like and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment. Uh, actually, I do want to know, if you have made these units good without DLC, and without using exploits or grinding, because let's be honest, like if you're using exploits to make something good, then that's like breaking the game to... It's literally breaking the game. So, like, if you're like, I'm just interested in normal play, right? Like, just playing the game, maddening on normal, no bondering exploits, no XP farm exploits, no expo exploits, right? No tower farming, whatever. So, if you found a way to make these good, I would love to hear it. And I am being sincere in that. Uh, I'm not saying that so I can just like dunk on you or like dismiss it. I am curious. And also, I'd love to hear if anyone's made Vander good because that would be an interesting achievement. If you could make Vander good, you're the man, you're a, you're a tactical genius because this dude has so much friction on him. But yeah, thanks for checking this out. See ya.